<clears throat> and there, so today I'm going to be talking about Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Motion Pictures. Oh, this is a David Bowie concert, uh, if I can see. From, um, July 3rd, 1973 at the Hammersmith Odeon. Um, which a lot of bands played. I know Queen played there that I can think of. Queen did. Um, I know, uh, 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 Motorhead played there. All the bands that can't come to mind, those two. Plus, there was many, many more. So many more bands played there as well. Um, so, um, this here, I, I really, really enjoy this, uh, amazing, this amazing concert. Um, so it includes the opening credits, which is the intro, um, Hang On To Yourself. Ziggy Stardust. Um, so those first two songs were off of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. So I would consider that that album there. If I had to pick an album that you know was that I consider one of his best that I really enjoy, you know that I think you know that's one of my favorites would have definitely be Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. That's my favorite favorite album. Um, of his. And then after Ziggy Stardust says, Watch That Man, Wild Eyed Boy from Free Cloud, All the Young Dudes, he performed that, which, which, um, you know, people that sang that were Mott the Hoople, um, after All the Young Dudes album, which came out in 72, um, but David Bowie was the one that wrote that song, and I think he gave that song to them to, for their album. So they gave, wrote that song and gave them that song, and geez, it became like a big, big hit. Um, and um, really great, even, I think even to this day, a very, still a very popular rock song. To this day, even though it came out in 1972, still... Still a big, you know, big hit. Um, a lot of people that list, you know, like me, that listen to 70s rock, you know, would most likely know that song. Um, after as Oh You Pretty Things. Moon Age Daydream. Oh, that song there. Amazing song. Um, when he was performing that, like, man, crazy. Um, Mick Ronson on the guitar. Um, ju just, just a sh how can I put it? When he's doing a guitar solo, he has a echoing. Like, he, when he's doing a guitar solo, just unbelievable. I think he was using the Wah Wah pedal, too, when he was doing the guitar solo. Just unbelievable. You gotta, it, it's hard to explain. You gotta see it to believe it. It's just unbelievable. Um, just unbelievable. Um, after that is Changes, Space Oddity, um, Great, great song. I, I think it was that song that he was performing. Might have been that one where they had a, what you call it, a globe or a crystal ball, whatever, that came up. And um, just unbelievable. And it said, too, when I was watching this, it said that, um, I, I believe, I think it was this one, um, the beginning of it when it first came on. Watching it, it said if you suffer from, if you, I, I, I think it was this one, if you suffer from um, um, seizures, you shouldn't watch it, <laughs> or what epilepsy or seizures, because of the reason why probably is because of um, all the lights and that, because there's different flashing lights, is like green, red, all different colors. Um, or was it this? It might not be. I, I think it was this, and there was another one I was watching too concert that I do have of a different um, different artist. And I think it said the same thing too with all the flashing lights and all that. Um, half that is that, did I say change it? Space Oddity, okay. Space Oddity, I said that. Um, my Death. Half that is a cracked actor. Um, time. Um, the Width of a Circle, which is amazing off his... Um, that album there, The Man Who Sold the World, that came off of that, um, which I considered The Width of a Circle. I, I considered that song there was quite heavy. 
which was off his third album i i really consider that that album probably one of his heaviest albums the man who sold the world one of his heaviest because there's quite a bit of songs that are quite heavy um after that is band introduction and let's spend the night together which he did amazing they did an amazing amazing job covering the rolling stones song amazing after that is suffragette city white light white heat done an amazing job on covering that song the ones that i think originally that sang that were the velvet underground back in i want to say 67 68 um i want to see yeah, i think it was around that time but yeah, an amazing job covering that. Because um, Lou Reed was the original, I think, that sang that when he was in Velvet Underground back in the day. Then after that was a farewell speech. Which, the farewell speech would be um, him saying that this would be his last concert. Um, would be his last con concert, actually, as Ziggy Stardust. So that would kind of be the end of Ziggy Stardust. Um, then he would go into other different uh, personas as um, the Thin White Duke back in 70, 1976. So he would do different personas and stuff like that. Like, so, you know, last one as Ziggy Stardust, but, you know, um, as that persona that he was. Um, after this rock and roll suicide... And in the end credits, at the end. Um, and it says it's 90 minutes long. Approximately approximately 90 minutes long, but sometimes, you know, it's longer. It says July 3rd, 1973, it was at the Hammersmith Odeon. Um, great. There's the back of it. Front. Show some pictures in here. If you can see it, I'll try to hopefully you can see that. Go closer, maybe you can see that. Back. This is pretty much from the concert. And there's Mick Rodson with the guitar. You can see that. And the crazy, you know, the, the, you, you know, the crazy stuff that he wears, you know, when he had the red hair and all those costumes that he wore. Kind of reminds me of, um, which a lot of people probably know who I'm talking about. Kind of Rob reminds me of um, kind of like um, Mick Jagger, you know, when he's up there performing in that in front of an audience, he kind of gets the audience going, moving around and sing, kind of like that, interacting with the fans. Um, go through the songs again, then I'm going to finish it off. There's um, opening credits which is the intro, Hang On To Yourself, Ziggy Stardust, Watch That Man, Wild Eyed Boy From Free Cloud, All The Young Dudes, Oh You Pretty Thing, Moon Age Daydream, Changes, Space Oddity, My Death, Cracked Actor, Time, The Width Of A Circle, Fan Introduction, Introduction, Let's Spend The Night Together, Suffragette City, White Light, White Heat, Farewell speech, rock and roll suicide, and in the end credits. Um, and then it says extras, commentary by the person that directed this, uh, directed it. Um, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit a thumbs up. Got to put down in down the description all the album reviews that are done by David Bowie on my other channel, 420, 420, uh, uh, 420 um, Express. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, bye.